He's winding this one up for the penalty area here, Jorgensen, from the right-hand side, loops it towards a crowded near post, it's helped on, and it's stuck in the penalty area, eventually Jensen plays it across, even Tony got a touch on that one, but has turned it wide, and, well, that's a threat, isn't it, the long throw-in? Headed on by McLean, Puki turns it into the penalty area looking for Rashica. It's half cleared, but Rashica recovers possession on the left-hand side. Takes on Sergi Canos, who's working hard, but Rashica has got round him. Great play, crosses into the penalty area now, looking for Aarons, who can't quite get to it. Tony scrambles it away, but it's been collected by Matthias Norman. He has a, a run through towards the edge of the penalty area, and a low shot! He's there! Norwich are in front for the first time in the Premier League this season! And it's Matthias Norman who's got his first goal for the club. Left-footed finish from the edge of the penalty area. Didn't seem to catch it entirely as he would have liked, but it's found its way past Fernandes and into the net. Norwich City are in the lead. Brentford nil, Norwich won. They defend this one. It's another one of these high loopers towards the edge of the six-yard box, and it bounces in the six-yard box for Norgard. And Krull makes a brilliant save. Norgard was there, tapped it goalwards. I think he thought he was going to score, and Krull has turned it aside. That's an important save. Alvaro Fernandez, the Brentford goalkeeper, plays it upfield. Ivan Tony jumps, wins the header, but it will drop nicely from McLean here. Who allows Matthias Norman to try and send Puki away, and it's a great pass, and Puki accelerates behind the Brentford defence, Puki's in for Norwich City, what a challenge from Charlie Good, but a penalty's been given! Oh, Good seemed to recover there, and he dived in, the yellow card comes out for Charlie Good. Down goes Puki, and it looked as if, at first glance, my first reaction was that Good had put in a remarkable challenge there and taken the ball, but the referee, Jared Gillett, the Australian, says penalty. Penalty it is for Norwich City. It's Puki for the Canaries. 2-0! And there's celebrations down on the Norwich bench below us. The goalkeeper goes the wrong way. Norwich City have two goals in a Premier League game. It's the first time in 29 top flight games that Norwich have scored twice in the same match. Puki converted emphatically. It's his third goal of the season and Norwich City are in a position of strength now. They are 2-0 up at Brentford before the half hour. Brandon Williams, nice little turn there to dance away from two Brentford players and he has got away and he's up into the penalty area, this is thrilling from Brandon Williams, just gets to the byline and he's forced wide, plays it back to Rashica who's cross is blocked, Puki turns, can't quite get the shot in and it is uh, going to be cleared away by Brentford. <laughs> cleared away by Matthias Norman but that's a case in point, really. He, he didn't find a teammate there. Williams does. Rashid's are on halfway, and Williams has continued his run forward. Can he get there? He can. This is a scintillating run again from Brandon Williams up to the edge of the penalty area. Across the dowel, it comes to Puki instead. Puki shot wide! Drags it wide. It was a lovely move from Norwich. Brandon Williams started it, rolled it across the penalty area, intelligently left by Dowell, who must have got the shout from Puki. He angled the shot just wide. That was a glorious chance. Oh, now the ball's been headed on by Tony, and Mbwemo is through. He's got goal side of the Norwich defence. Mbwemo into the penalty area, Brentford are back in it. VAR will have a look at it. It was Mbwemo offside as he latched on to Tony's flick. Brentford celebrate for now. They get the ball back towards the halfway line. And what fine margins we have in the Premier League again. Puki misses a glorious chance at one end. The action goes to the other end, and Mbwemo scores. The goal, we've now seen uh, the flag has gone up, it's going to be disallowed, the goal is disallowed, he was offside and Buemo. Jensen's corner, from the left-hand side for Brentford, played into the Norwich penalty area now, headed down, oh, blocked, that's a great save! Cruel, I think, has managed to make a, a point-blank save there and he's celebrating it almost as if it was a goal. Tremendous from Tim Krull, the ball was headed down, someone got a touch on it and Krull has beaten it away, that's his second brilliant save of the afternoon. touch there from Williams, a rare mistake, allowing 
Brentford to get it with Canos, right hand side, played up quickly to Brian and Buema. Another crossing opportunity for Godos, the substitute, in it comes, and it's a goal for Brentford! It was played over the top of Tim Krull, who got caught rather underneath it there, and uh, the player coming round the back for Brentford, Rico Henry, has played it back across the goal and into the net, and Brentford are back in it now. Brentford 1, Norwich City 2, we're just about to reach the hour mark. Brentford still have possession. Pontus Janssen delivers it into the penalty area. Header from Norman, not away. Brentford come again. And Buemo crosses high from the left-hand side. Krull again, caught underneath it momentarily. Brentford have teed it up in the penalty area and Krull beats it away at the near post. That's a good save. <laughs> Lise Melu curls the ball into the penalty area. Brentford headed away, but you knew this is well Station to pick up the pieces and curl the cross back into the penalty area. Sergeant's in there! And oh, the ball has been grabbed by the goalkeeper in amongst the melee of players. And Brentford have it back with Jensen. Oh, charged down by Sergeant, and it might run for Adam Eder here, the substitute. Eder is going to head for the corner, that's intelligent play from the young man. He brings it towards the corner flag, superb. This is what he's been brought on the pitch to do, he holds the ball in the corner. This is really mature play from the youngster, and Eder is now competing for it, and he's done well to find Pierre Lise Melu, who will now bring it into the penalty area, across from Lise Melu to Kenny McLean in the area! He's put it wide, that would have won it for Norwich City. 